Yo, what up? It's Joey. Yo, what's up, man? Oh, you got a job for us? Alright. You want us to pick up some paintings? Alright, where are at? Alright. Alright, alright. So this guy's selling pony painting. What do, you, what do you want us to do about it? You want us to kill him? Alright, I think we can handle that. What do you want us to meet you? Alright. Alright. Alright, talk to you later. We got it for job. Good. Right here. You the guy? I'm the guy. Oh, the boss sent us here. Where you going? Where are you? So where's the paintings at? They're looking at them. These are the paintings. Yes, sir. Oh, what's the painting? What do you think about these paintings, Kevin? Even though each image showcases life in inclement weather, the choice of medium is not the only difference between these two images. If examined further, viewers will begin to notice the differences between each image's use of depth, geometry, and space. Depth helps create a third dimension within a two-dimensional object. In a Henry's photo on the left, subjects and the main structure reside entirely in the foreground whereas the subjects and the main structures in Jonas's painting on the right begin in the foreground, but continue into the distance almost endlessly. The geometry and lines within Henry's photo are far more random than the lines present in Jonas's painting. The lines that create the foundation for Henry's photo seem to be protruding throughout the image in almost every direction. In the middle right of the photo, the steel beams of the Eiffel Tower intersect. From the photographer's perspective, the result of these intersecting beams creates a giant steel X which can be seen looming above the couple in the photograph. In Jonas's painting, except for the horizon line, most of the painting's lines run vertically. The painting's boxy and towering buildings create a sense of uniformity. The horizon line in Henry's photograph begins in the lower left of the photo and sneaks slightly upward into the bottom section of the middle right portion of the photograph. In Jonas's painting, the horizon line remains entirely in the bottom portion of the painting. The amount of shapes created by the negative space found within Henry's photo is outstanding. By visualizing the negative space of this photo, we are left with, at the very least, ten large triangles and a vast amount of smaller triangles lattice throughout the photo. If examined further, the large steel X created by the intersecting beams casts a reflection on the wet platform and forms an imaginary diamond that seems to frame the couple within the photo. The negative space in Jonas's painting is created when the edges of the painting's buildings meet with the sky behind them. If looked at upside down, the negative space in this painting resembles an inverted skyline with one dominant tower reaching all the way down to Broadway. Although each image shares a common theme, each image varies significantly in depth, geometry, and space. We'll talk about money. Five 20 20 G's. G's. 20 G's. Five a piece. Hey, f you're wrong. What, 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 what did Joey say about this guy? Yeah, Joey. He says they're not real. They're fake. So many phony pennies. Where you get them from, huh? You're God, trying to pull Joey. a fast one over? Oh, sh**. Get a f**k in that f**king bullsh**, man. Does this look like a f**k to you? Huh? Huh? I'm just Why are you trying? Yeah, you trying to f**k with us? Who's is it? That's the artist. That's the, that ain't no artist. That's the f***ing guy. He don't know what the f*** he's talking about. No, he don't. Get out of my face! You f***ing mother f***er! F*** you! Mother f***! You, you piece of f***ing f***! Suck your mother f***er! Fuck off, I'm See you later, you filthy f***ing animal! Hey, you know what I'm talking about, right?
Эй, босс, а иду! Я кое-что с***ь дом, не? Ну, а... Я Oh, no, it's perfect. I was going to play the bananas off. <laughs> <laughs> 